salvation and the abundant life we have as the reason of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. May we live in appreciation of that which you have done for us in Jesus' name. May we be blessed by today's service and your name alone be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus we have prayed. Amen. So you're welcome once again children to our Easter special. But before we go on, I'd like to find out, hope you are done with your activities for last week. And if you're done, hope you're able to send it to your teachers so that they will check and give you feedback. If you've done that, I give you a thumbs up. But if you're here to do that, I'd like you to get it done today. Because we'll be running out new set of activities for the week. And it's good you're done with last week's work so that it can easily flow into the activities for this week. Today, we have quite a number of our friends that will be telling us about what Easter means to them. We also have Pastor Shadi on board who will round up on our teaching on excellence, which is our core value in focus for the month of April. Remember last week, she told us about four things we need to do. She was able to teach on two, and she'll be rounding up on the remaining two things. Who can remind us of the two things she told us about last week? Number one, okay, I'll tell you. He said we should pray. And the second thing, always tell the truth. And today she'll round up with the remaining two things that will help us in becoming an excellent child. We also have Aunt Kenny, who lay more emphasis on Easter. And she will also continue with our series on the Holy Spirit. And, hope you are not forgetting our mini Bible man competition. Our mini Bible man competition is just around the corner. And I hope we've in the books of the Bible. But not to worry. We've made an arrangement for you. We have one of our friends who will be teaching us a song on the books of the Bible, which will make it easier and more fun. Now, let's call on our friends, who will be telling us what is time is today. God loves me. God loves me. And... Jesus died for me. My name is Oluwaseyi. Emmanuel Lassu Kwame. It's time to me the people who celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ from death. Thank you. Good morning, parents. Good morning, friends. My name is Emmanuel Lassu It's time means Jesus loved me. He died. I would for me. Thank you. My name is Kenneth Ogwa. Easter is a celebration where we celebrate the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Easter means to me that, that Jesus came to take away our sins and sickness, and I have eternal life. My name is Shalape Shangonuga. I'm here to tell you what Easter means. Easter means Jesus, the death, and burial and the resurrection and because we believe in him we are saved forever bye bye 
everybody. My name is Shemino Rizumo. I am here to talk about what Easter means to me. Now, Easter represents Jesus' death and resurrection. But personally, Easter means freedom. Why? Because Jesus' victory over sin and Satan gave me eternal life. Secondly, Jesus' death and resurrection also reminds me of God's deep love and how he cares about me. Lastly, Jesus' resurrection puts joy in my heart because I know that he paid the price for my sins and now I'm no longer a slave to fear. My name is Imisola Adoyu. To me, Easter means redemption. It reminds me about Jesus dying on the cross of Christ and how he rose again. He gave us dominion over sickness, disease, lack, and every bad thing that the devil represents. Such as coronavirus. Hey, Easter. My name is Jordan Adams. I understand Easter as God show of his love for me. Jesus died agonizingly on the cross and was raised triumphantly by the power of God so that I may live my life to the fullest and live in victory. Victory over sin, victory over death, and victory over the devil. Hallelujah! Number three, do not be lazy. Again, do not be lazy. Always work hard. Whatever they tell you to do, always do it. Don't complain. It's only me that they're always starting to do this thing in the house. I'm the only one that's always fetching the water. Why can't somebody else do it? No. That is not an excellent spirit always make sure that whatever they tell you to do you do it and you do it very well and don't complain number four correct your mistakes again correct your mistakes when you do something wrong and you find out that it is wrong just the same way in school when you have finished your sums or you have done your assignments and you get some of it wrong they always tell you to do correction is that not so you do correction why do you do correction you do correction so that you can learn to make the, the you, you can learn not to do the same mistakes all over again so, same thing in being an excellent child. You must learn to correct your mistakes. When you do something wrong, tell yourself, I will never do it again. That is how to correct your mistakes. When you do all these things, God will be very happy with you. Your mommy and your daddy will also be very happy with you. Your teachers, your grandma, your uncles and your aunties, they will also be happy with you and they will call you an excellent child. Now, let's go over the four things that we say can help us to become excellent children. Number one, pray to God to help you to become an excellent child. Number two, always tell the truth again always tell the truth number three do not be lazy again do not be lazy and number four correct your mistakes again correct your mistakes very very good I'm very sure that you are all going to be excellent children in Jesus' name. Amen. Finally, let us pray so that God can help us to become excellent children. Say with me, in Jesus' name, Father, help me to become an 
excellent child. Thank you, Jesus, for helping me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for listening. I trust that God will help you to become excellent children, that you will be a pride and a joy to God, to your parents, to everybody. God bless you. Till we come to you next week with another lesson from Church 252. Have a wonderful day and God bless you. Good day church, good day friends. My name is Bango Teniola and it's time to take our confession. In the name of Jesus, I declare that I am more conscious day by day of the Spirit of God. I live in the Spirit. I walk in the Spirit. I speak by the Spirit. And I am full of the Spirit. The Holy Spirit is my teacher. He teaches me all I need to know. And he brings all things to my remembrance. My steps are ordered by God's word. And my mind is renewed daily by the word of God. The love of God is shed abroad in my heart by the Holy Ghost. I am a love being. Therefore, I love all the people around me because my Father is my shepherd. I declare that I do not want. I have everything that I need. The Lord supplies all my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I will speak the word of God with boldness to my friends and people around me. The Holy Spirit will speak through me to reach out to the lost. They will listen to me and they will be saved. I am not ashamed of the gospel of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I am sensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit. I make the right decisions by the Spirit. I rejoice in Jesus. I have no fear because the greater one lives big in me. I am a winner. Hallelujah!
Wow, I'm so excited. It's Easter Sunday. Do you know what Easter means? Can you take a few minutes and talk to mommy or daddy or anybody else beside you about what Easter really means to you? Fantastic. I'm sure we were very awesome with our answers. Easter is the time that Christians celebrates the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Over 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ went to the cross, he died, and on the third day, he rose again, all because of the sins of mankind. We have another short video clip for you today about the celebration of Easter, and I want you to sit back and learn even as you enjoy the video. Enjoy. On Sunday morning, some women went to put burial spices on Jesus' body. They knew a big stone was covering the tomb's entrance and wondered how they would move it. When they arrived, the stone had already been moved. Jesus' body was gone and there were angels in the tomb. Jesus is alive, the angels said. Go, tell his disciples. The women told the disciples, and Peter and John ran to Jesus' tomb to see for themselves. All they found were Jesus' burial clothes. They went back home, confused. Later, the disciples were gathered together in a room. They were talking about what had happened, when Jesus appeared to them. They were terrified. They thought he was a ghost. Don't worry, said Jesus. See my hands and feet. It's me. Touch me. Go on. You can't touch a ghost. And ghosts don't eat either. But I'm quite hungry. So he ate some fish. Then he taught them. The scriptures are clear, he said. The Messiah was supposed to suffer and die, and then be raised from the dead. Now tell the world what you have seen. Let everyone know that their sins can be forgiven if they turn to God. It's possible because of what I have done. Welcome back. What did you learn from the video you have just watched? Can you share a few of your learning points with mommy or daddy around you? Because it's very important that we always know what we learn when we listen to the word of God. Now, remember the last week, we talked about the Holy Spirit as our friend when we said friends forever. This week is all about the Holy Spirit and me. We were told in Acts chapter 2 verses 38 and 39 that the Holy Spirit is a gift. We also realize in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16, that the Spirit of God dwells inside of us. And that is actually the memory verse for today. Somehow, Easter and the Holy Spirit living inside of us are connected. And it's all because the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ made it possible for the Spirit of God to live inside of us. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 16 says that we were all reconciled to God. We were all brought back to God because of what Jesus did on the cross. Would you give a shout of hooray? It's all about Jesus. All right? Now, the memory verse for today, like I said, 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16. Make sure you study your memory verses. I know your teachers have been calling you, and when they call you, do your activities, reply with your memory verses, and then we'll see you again next week. Stay safe. Bye-bye. children it's time for the announcements please pay attention because i'll be passing on some important instructions okay as you all know our bible man competition has already started we're going to be having two this year and this is the first one for this one we're going to be knowing all the books of the bible 
why is this important when you're quoting a scripture it's very necessary and important to know where that particular scripture is in the bible secondly when you're trying to find a particular information or you're doing a study about a particular subject you need to know how to search and it becomes easier when you know the books of the bible now for the tasks for each class um, Noah, David and Solomon are supposed to know all the books of the New Testament. Esther and Sarah are supposed to know all the books of the Old Testament, while the preteens and the teenagers are to know all the books of the Bible, both the Old and the New. In addition to that, the older classes, that is the preteens and the teens, are, so are expected to write a summary of the Old Testament or the summary of the books of the Bible, what it is about, landmark events and the purpose. So that's the basic instruction. The further info, um, information will be passed on, on to, to everybody. Now for the second announcement, there is a particular activity for this class, for this Sunday, and it will be forwarded on all the platforms. Parents and teachers, should, um, parents, um, guardians should ensure that their children do this activity. It's very important for the season and it's beneficial also. So thank you very much. Have a nice day at home. See you next Sunday. Bye, children. Hello, guys. It's time for the Old Testament. Let's go. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First and Second Samuel, First and Second Kings, First and Second Pro Chronicles. That's all the First and Second Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms and Proverbs, Ecclesiastes and the Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah. Lamentations Ezekiel and Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggiah, Zechariah, Malachi Hello guys, how are you doing? I'm here to help you learn the books of the New Testament with a song. Are you ready? Let's go! Matthew, Mark, Luke and John Acts, Romans 1 and 2, Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, 1st Timothy, 2nd Timothy, Titus, Philemon, Hebrews and James, 1st Peter, 2nd Peter, 3 John, Jude and Revelation. Easy, right? Bye! Thank you.